I've got Mike's DC t shirt on. And my pyjama bottoms, which is still weird. I want those back at some point. Now? No, <laughs> not now! Boys. What the hell are we doing? <laughs> we have literally never had anything right. like this. Here's a theory. All of the desserts in one, in one ice cream sundae, how could you make it better? Duvets and a movie. So we thought if we have to bring you the most perfect ice cream sundae, then it ought to have everything. A bit of nostalgia with Neapolitan ice cream, homemade, chewy <laughs> cookies, marshmallow, toasted of course, and hot fudgy sauce. It looks and it sounds yeah. amazing. Technically, there are six desserts in one sundae. <laughs> well, you're going to have to start at the top because to start at the bottom would be tricky. Oh, look at that. This, I think, has to be my new favourite cookie recipe because it is as simple as all the rest. All the dry ingredients into a bowl, flour, two sugars, two types of chocolate, cocoa and dark chocolate, a little bit of raising agent, but not too much, and then even the wet stuff, butter, egg and vanilla. Combine it, blob it, and it's very precise. 11 minutes in the oven. Stop eating the ingredients. We've got a whole Sunday to consume later, and you are going to be so indulgently rich on your insides that you will be... Go on. No, again, that was... <laughs> no. This is a really weird episode. <laughs> How would you rate that cookie? That is a 26. 26? Point, point 0.3. Out of? 28. It's so easy to make. Guys, I've moved on. I'm guessing before you go much deeper, you're probably going to have to go for the marshmallow. There is marshmallow ripped up halfway down the glass as well, but on top, this one's toasted. Marshmallows are the mixture of four things. Egg white, sugar syrup, gelatin, and in our case, vanilla. And when you make them, they're as soft as pillows, duvets, and mattresses. See what we did there. The sugar syrup is caster sugar, liquid glucose, and water. Bring that up to a bubble, and that will need to be 130 degrees Celsius. The bit that makes it set is the gelatin. So we want nine sheets soaked in cold water. As soon as you've got 130 degrees on your sugar syrup, all of your soaked gelatin and the water it's been in, because that was weighed out too, goes in. All we need is the egg whites to whip up the egg yolks we don't need. When the egg whites are stiff, the sugar syrup and gelatin mix goes in, and then you'll scrape vanilla seeds. Once you've poured your sugar syrup in, the bowl will be really hot. So whisk it for about 10 minutes until it's cooled down and the mixture is stiff and glossy. Then pour it into a tray lined with a mixture of corn flour and icy sugar. Oh, I'm going to put it in. It's oh, he went for it. <laughs> no, we can't avoid it anymore. What is this fudge sauce? It's everything, isn't it? So the sauce is a little bit naughty. It's an awful lot of golden syrup, some double cream, cocoa, vanilla, a pinch of salt, and a knob of butter, so it goes glossy, brought up to a bubble in a pan, and then we chop up dark chocolate and just melt it in. So it's kind of got that golden syrup richness with the dark chocolate, and it's just the right consistency to dribble down and stay. Eating desserts in duvets is the most impractical thing you could ever wish for. Yeah, the only way this could be messy is if you'd given me ribs. But when talking about desserts with all of you guys, one thing that jumped out is the only way you can make a dessert better is by wrapping up in a duvet and sticking a movie on. So we thought, let's indulge. These are those moments that you probably do once every month. Week? <laughs> week? M mm -hmm. Once every time you need to pick me up. What do you think of the ice cream? Soft. My own. Did you just buy it and scoop it? No. You made it? It has all the double cream and all the condensed milk. Sorry, Janice. We're, who's Janice? She's my um, Slimming World supervisor. <laughs> <laughs> Homemade ice cream is an incredible amount of double cream whipped up and sweetened with condensed milk. And when I say an incredible amount, lots, like three times the usual amount, because we're going to divide it by three.
With an awful lot of cream whipped up to soft peaks, we then add in the sweetener, turn it down to a very slow speed so it mixes in. So you want a consistency, obviously we're going to freeze it, but you want a consistency that right now is still just holding its form. That's why it's soft to stiff peaks before you fold in all the condensed milk. Divide your huge vat of plain cream into three bowls. Into one, we're going to place melted dark chocolate. Into another, fresh vanilla seeds. And the third, blitzed up pureed strawberries. We're going Neapolitan, chocolate, strawberry and vanilla. Three flavoured ice creams. These now need to freeze for several hours. So, who re you remember Neapolitan ice cream? I do remember it. I used to love that as a kid, but it was always like... Like really, yeah, fake sugary taste. Whereas this, once we've made the basic batch, cream and condensed milk, split it, and it's got proper 85% dark chocolate in one, proper fresh strawberries we blitzed up to a puree in the second, and fresh vanilla in the third. This ice cream is almost mousse-like. It is. It's so soft. I was going to say that, it's so soft. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's not just soft and then it disappears. It's soft and it's got some actual oomph to it. Oh, man. Uh-oh. <laughs> you spilled it down, yeah? Yeah, not Should've given you a bib. Though. <laughs> Are you looking at your steps? No, no, I'm looking at my heart rate. 75. <laughs> my resting heart rate's like 58. <laughs> I enjoyed that. I can tell. I've, I've enjoyed this week. <laughs> it's been a good week. Strong yeah, week. and oh, I'll tell you someone else who has enjoyed this week is you, collectively. <laughs> So much so that actually we've got so many suggestions for amazing desserts for duvets that um, we decided to expand on going just outside video. Where could we go with that, Jamie Spafford? Oh, I know where we could go with that. How about a book? But how about a book that doesn't have a publisher, a one year lead time, um, oh, so slow. Yeah, all of that kind of stuff. We've wanted to do a book for a long time, but we've never been sure what to do it on. And you guys have made it pretty obvious that desserts and duvets might be the thing we focus Everyone on. Everyone wants it. And the good news is we've got everything we need. So between us, we can do all the recipes, you can do all the photography and design, we can write it. You guys can help us shape the recipes. The Kickstarter can allow us to do it. And we don't need to go to publishers. No. So we're going to do a book, hopefully, using Kickstarter, which means we can get you guys involved you can be a complete part of the process of how we make the book, um, and we can make it just for you, and we don't have to wait that long. No. And we can make a product better than anything you'd find on any normal bookshelf, because we're making it specifically for you guys. What you need to do is go to our Kickstarter page and have a look at all the pledges and look at what rewards you can get. Right, okay. Um, I've got a slight issue with what I just said. We actually filmed that big night in about, well, a few weeks ago, and we actually launched our Kickstarter on Monday via Twitter and Facebook. And amazingly, it's nearly already sold out, which means this project is actually happening. For those of you who haven't backed the project already, go to Kickstarter, because at 9 p.m. tonight, we're gonna launch a whole new level of pledges. If you have already pledged and you'd like the look of one of the new pledges, don't worry, you can also upgrade your old one to a new one. There is a link downstairs, so go check out the Kickstarter and get your hands on one of the duvets in desserts copies. Um, but for now, Mike, I think you might have a question. Guys, guys, I've got a question. <laughs> Freddie Jodicus K asks, who can be trusted dog sitting? Who would, one, lose a dog, two, accidentally poison it, three, refuse to return it, four, dye it green for fun? <laughs> have to allocate one of those for each one of us. So number one, who would lose a dog? Mike. Mike, you lose your keys, you lose headphones, yeah, you Ever lose everything. you've made your point and I agree. <laughs> number two, accidentally poison it. Now, I would like to throw a suggestion out for this. Okay. Ebbers. Because he'd be like, no, dogs are allowed to eat lobster, lobster bisque with chocolate. <laughs> He's like, no, I've cooked this meal. Someone's going to enjoy it. Um, number three, refuse to return it. And number four, diet green for fun. All right. Oh, I don't know. Refuse to return it, Barry Taylor. Yeah. yeah. He's yeah. selfish. I think you'd go for that. Yeah, Proper oh, we, need, we, need, we need an office dog, don't we? We do need an office dog. Love an office dog. I've said we need an ages. office that works. If you have a dog that you can lend us and I won't give back to you, <laughs> and Jamie might dye it green. But I think it's brown. <laughs> that is so... <laughs> Jamie, Jamie will just be applying just for men to an older dog. 
thinking it's brown and then dye it green. So that makes complete sense. Cool, that is serendipitous. It's worked out nicely. Have That's we ever agreed really on the answer to a question? That's perfect. Well, there you go. Question answered. Job done. It goes to show that you don't have to take your clothes off to have a good time. So true. You just have to have 1.2 litres of double cream, <laughs> countless amounts of butter, golden syrup and chocolate. What do I film about that? Yummy. So all the information you need for the Kickstarter is in the link downstairs. Go check it out and see what you think. There should be a video there as well that gives you all the information about the Kickstarter. Hey, also, you should let us know what you think about this. You should comment down below and let us know so that we can read your feedback and take it on board. Otherwise, we will see you next week, of course. Please remember to give this video a like. We really appreciate it. Love sorted food. Click on the left if you missed our last video or click on the right video for one of our favourites.